Hello, my courageous Cancer, and welcome to your moon reading for the month. This is just a general moon reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance, please do check out your love reading and your uh, abundance reading, which is career and finance based. They are up on my channel if you haven't had a chance to take a look at those. Otherwise, if you do enjoy this type of reading, please do like, subscribe, share, and please do make sure you hit that notification bell because I will be putting up weekly readings as well as your June uh, monthly readings coming soon. So uh, you won't want to miss those. Otherwise, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this. This is a seven card circle. So hopefully you will enjoy this format. If you haven't seen this before, I have done these before on my page and I do enjoy them. But um, this first card is indicative of where you are now or what you might be facing if you have a difficulty. The second position is what kind of got you into this situation. The third position is indicative of kind of like a challenge card in traditional tarot. So it's what's kind of keeping you locked in this phase position uh, situation. The fourth card is your ultimate outcome, okay? If you follow, that is, the sixth, seventh, and eighth card. So let's see, sixth, seventh, and eighth, wow. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Well, I learned to count, didn't I? <laughs> Okie dokie. Y'all are like, wow, and I'm leaving her reading my future. All right, so anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I promise I can count. Okay, so right now you guys are having purity as your issue. And for me, I feel like what this means to many of you, most of you, is that you are kind of at a moral dilemma. Okay, so for some of you, uh, you may be faced with a situation where, you know, you maybe don't want to get involved. Um, but you know that morally you feel like you need to, or it could be a situation where you feel like you've done something that, you know, necessarily you're not super thrilled about or proud of yourself on, and you feel like, okay, do I need to do something to make this right? How do I do this? Or for some of you, you might be in a situation where, you know, you're facing consequences because typically you are that play by the rules, always toe the line kind of thing. And this time maybe you kind of strayed from that. Maybe you did something a little bit off. Um, and I don't care if it's something where, you know, it's very, very minimal. Like, you know, maybe you told a little white lie to somebody and it's come back to bite you. And so you're kind of like, uh, you know, that's major for you. Or, you know, maybe you told some fibs on your taxes and they're auditing you, right? So, um, but I do feel like for some of you that you are in a situation where you're kind of having a moral dilemma or a, um, you know, kind of a conflict of conscience right now. So, and also, you know, this could be a situation where, you know, you're trying to make a decision of how to proceed forward on certain things. And, you know, maybe your head is telling you one thing and your heart is telling you another. Okay. This could be uh, something where, you know, you've got a job opportunity, you've got a relationship opportunity, you've got different opportunities coming up or uh, presented to you. And while, you know, you know that it's going to be financially lucrative if you do this, you know, or, you know, if you take the job, it's going to be really good for you in a financial sense, but you don't think that it's necessarily the right thing to do maybe. Okay. Or, you know, that what you're doing is not something you would normally um, want to be involved with or something that you like to invest in. Maybe it's a company that you know it's a good investment, but it's a company you would never promote because, you know, you don't like what they stand for or their values, things like that. Um, could be something of that nature. It could be something with a relationship where, you know, you really like the person, but they're putting pressure on you to do certain things. Uh, could be anything from, you know, kind of doing, you know, kind of like peer pressure type things in a uh, physical sense, or it could be something where it's like, you know, they're trying to kind of pressure you into being a little bit uh, faster in the relationship as far as like move in with them, those kinds of things. And you're not ready for it. You don't want to do that until maybe you uh, are married, those kinds of things. So it could be any of these situations, but I do feel like you're having a kind of a conflict of, um, you know, a moral compass or conflict of conscience, something like that is going on in your life right now. Um, and I do feel like what's led you to this is change. Obviously something has changed in your life where, you know, you've been given an opportunity or you've been presented with a, um, you know, a, a dilemma or some sort of, um, you know, kind of ultimatum even maybe, you know, like, listen, we're either going to move in together. We're either going to have relations. We're either going to get engaged, you know, these kinds of things, or we're going to, you know, split. You're either going to take this job and do 
what the manager tells you to do, which you may not really feel is right or agree with. You know, you may have to fire somebody uh, if you want to be the boss and you may feel like that's not a good play. You don't feel like that's right. You don't feel like they deserve it. But in order to become that boss, to get that promotion, to get that extra money, you have to do that. It's kind of a, you know, a um, contingency of the position. You know, these kinds of things, um, those are all just examples, of course, take these as they resonate, but um, you kind of get the gist that it's kind of a change in um, dynamics in your life where something's kind of shifted, something's kind of come up, and because of that, it's put you in a place where you're not super comfortable, right? You're feeling like this kind of goes against what I would normally do. This kind of goes against what I really feel like I I think is right, um, you know, even if it's an investment. Like I said, maybe there's something where, you know, your financial advisor, your family, your significant other, they're saying, hey, everything in me is telling me invest in this specific company, but you are, you know, an environmentalist and you're like, that company is completely destroying the environment. I would never invest in a company like that. But, you know, for whatever intents and purposes, you know, you know that that company probably is going to be lucrative. And, you know, so again, it could be any number of things, but I do feel like because of some shifting, because of some changes, and it could be changes in your situation, again, you may need money more than maybe you did previously. And so you are willing to consider things you wouldn't before. You know, you may be at a crossroads in a relationship where, you know, you really don't want to lose this person. You are uh, at faced with the p potential possibility of losing a relationship you really care about. Um, that's become a, a on the line thing so that that's changed for you. And so you're considering things that you normally would never consider. So I do think that's kind of puts you into that situation. And what's keeping you there is fruition. Again, you're seeing things through to fruition. You're kind of a long-term person. You're a person who looks at things of how they will be in the long term, in the long run. You always try to see things, um, you know, you're not a day-by-day -day person. You're not that person who, uh, for most of you, I don't see you being that person that's like, I just take it every single day at a time and I don't worry about a single thing down the road. You know, I live every day of my life like it's my last and that's just how I go. You know, I feel like, you know, you're more like, I like to plan. I like to kind of know what's going ahead. I like to kind of have a an idea of where I'm going to be down the road. What You know, I, if I fail to plan, I plan to fail kind of situation. So, you know, I want to know kind of what's, what's the long-term scope. And if I know that I need finances, you know, if I take this, if I don't take this, you know, step and I lose my job or I don't get the promotion, how's that going to affect me long-term, right? Um, if I don't do what this person says and I lose them, how will that affect me long term? Um, you know, will I be alone forever, you know? And so you're looking at this in such a long term scope that it's hard for you to just focus on, you know, how does this, how does this feel right now? How is this making me feel right now? What do I need to do right now in the moment? Because you're really kind of looking at such a long term uh, situation of what will this mean in fruition, right? So it's kind of keeping you kind of, okay, I really have to keep thinking about this. And it tends to make you overthink, right? You keep overthinking because you're thinking, yep, if I do this, then it'll come out to be this. But wait a minute, if I don't do it, then I come out to this. But wait a minute, you know, and you keep circling around and around. And that's exactly why you're staying in this, you know, this loop, right? So the ultimate outcome, though, is self-reflection, okay? Okay. And in this particular situation for you all, I feel like the ultimate outcome being self-reflection is you are going to want to do the thing that is going to make you able to look yourself in the eye, right? Confidently, comfortably be able to look at yourself in a mirror and say, I made the decision that I'm ultimately proud of, you know, when all said and done, I'm not going to look back and regret it. I'm not going to look back and say, you know, I wish I hadn't done that or I, you know, I kowtowed to somebody or I pandered or I, you know, I really gave up on my principles. I really feel like you're the person who is going to, um, you know, want to be that person that's going to want to really look yourself in the eye. So I think that is going to be your driving force. And I think that's something you're going to do. I think you're going to really kind of stick with your um, pure values and really try to try to stick with the things, the core beliefs that you 
uh, hold fast to, honestly. Um, but how do you get there in a way that's still not going to damage you, okay? Because you are a person who, you know, you want to see everything from all angles. You want to know how all possibilities could play out. Um, so the first thing is balance. You need to balance everything. You're a checks and balances person. You're probably a person who's already made a pro and con list. If you haven't, you're doing it in your head. You know, if you haven't actually written it down, you've mentally made it in your head probably a thousand times. So I think you're balancing and I think this is all part of this fruition. You're going through, you know, every case scenario uh, that could possibly ever happen, uh, whether you can control it or not, whether it may ever happen or not, you're going through it. You are trying to balance out, um, you know, things that you could never control um, as though you could because it gives you some sense of control. It gives you some sense of, you know, I have the authority over this. Um, and we all like to feel that way, right? We like to feel like we have a hand in it, uh, even though that, you know, there's always that old joke that says, if you, you know, if you want to make God laugh, make a plan, right? Because that's when things, as soon as you plan something, it seems like, you know, that's when things can go, you know, haywire. But again, you like to feel like everything's in balance. You've got all your balls juggled in the air. Everything's going good. So that's the first thing you want to try to do is try to figure out what, what's the possible outcome of everything and what's going to be the most balanced for you, right? Then you're going to come to a realization, Okay, so your realization is about you though. This is your keyhole, this is your future, right? So the realization is not just a realization of, you know, okay, well, I know this is my pros and this is my cons. The realization is what can I live with? What if I go through this looking glass, if I go through this keyhole, if I come out on the other side, even if I come out with more money, even if I come out with this person, am I gonna be happy if I had to take these steps to get there? You know, if I had to, you know, step down off my principles, if I had to, you know, kind of sacrifice what I believe in because I was cornered into it, forced into it, felt like I, you know, had to do these things just to get, you know, what I felt I deserved anyway, is this really what I wanted? That's the realization. Is this really what's good for me? Is this really the kind of person or kind of job or kind of position or kind of thing that I want to be in? Or are there other ways to get through to get to what I want that won't require me to sacrifice things I believe in, things I care about, things that are important to me, things I've worked so hard for? You know, are there other jobs that wouldn't ask me to do these kinds of things that I could still succeed in? Are there other relationships where they would, you know, respect how I feel about certain things more and I could still be myself and still have the love but also have the respect cuz you know, if I if I'm doing all these things and I'm having to really give up what I believe in, are they really showing me that much respect, you know? So these are like self-realizations, you know, about the situation you're in. So that's kind of what this this particular point is. So, you know, you get the checks and balances on the logistical part because you like to have that, right? That's like a sense of security, the, the checks and balances of what you can control. But the realization is, you know, your personal, emotional, spiritual, uh, more um, kind of grounded in yourself, just, just about you kind of feeling. And then power in this particular deck is about harnessing your power to kind of put it into, um, into a way that is going to perpetuate your goals in life, your path, okay? So it's not like just flexing your power or trying to take control of a situation. That would be more like the masculine card in this deck. Um, and it's not like just trying to take back control of your life, just to have control, that's more like the sovereignty card. This is more like taking all your tools at your disposal, right? And harnessing them for the good of your path and your outcome and your goals and the things that matter to you so that you can get to the place that you ultimately wanna be. So that you can get through the keyhole, the realization that is best for you, okay, you personally. And that's what this is. So that's what you kind of need to do. The first thing you're doing is you're kind of putting it in a logistical sense, but then you're kind of taking a look at that and saying, okay, I can see things from a logical standpoint, but not all things can be logically explained. Sometimes it's just about, you know, it's just about principle. Sometimes it's just about feeling. Sometimes it's just about, 
you know, respect. It's just about the way I feel about things, how I feel like I should be treated, my personal views, my opinions, you know, my respect, um, my principles. It's just about principles. And then taking those things all together and harnessing them in a way that makes you feel like you're moving forward confidently in a way that you can, you know, make a decision about your life that is going to be something that you can still feel like you did in good, clean conscience in a pure way, but also that you can look yourself in the face so that whether you succeed, um, you know, astronomically, whether you feel like, you know, I didn't, you know, make all the money I possibly could have, or I didn't succeed with this specific person, but I can succeed in other ways. I'll make the money somewhere else. I will find love with somebody else who respects me more. I'll make the money at a job that values my principles more. You know, that kind of thing. I do feel like this is going to end up being the most important facet for you. And this is where you'll end up. So I feel like either these people will get on board with you um, or they will be eliminated by you. You know, you will remove them from the situation because I do feel like when all is said and done, when push comes to shove and you start balancing and realizing and kind of taking a look at things, you're going to start realizing that, you know, your principles are what's most important to you and that is what you're going to proceed to kind of fulfill through. Right. So I do feel like that's where you're going and I think that's what you're heading towards. And I do feel like that's what you will end up with. So um, that's good because it's what you have to live with. Right. You have to live with yourself and your choices. No one else. Right. So as long as you know you're making good choices uh, that you can live with, that's always going to be the best answer. So anyway, hopefully this resonated with you. If it did, please do like subscribe, share all that other great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back for your weekly readings and your June monthly reading. Bye.